today I want to show you a quick tutorial on um, printing your patterns from Adobe Illustrator. Um, I found this guy Ralph Pink on Vimeo and uh, he um, made his original patterns on Adobe Illustrator then imported them into Photoshop and you know copy and paste you know certain sections into a printable file. Uh, I'm gonna show you a different way. Um, this way it's a lot easier for me I think. Um, I scan all my patterns and import them into Adobe Illustrator, copy them all into one file and adjust the artboard uh, so it fits the pattern. And then I align the pattern, which takes a long time, I know, but I'd like to do it that way. Each little image I make opaque and 50% and then adjust it uh, using the uh, rotate tool and the just like regular trying to rotate it. It was just too long to show you how I did it all, but eventually I got there. So now what I did is I locked the first layer and I, I brought up a new one. I'm choosing some colors at the moment uh, so I can have an outline. I don't recommend using black or white because you won't be able to see it. So once you choose your color, all you have to do is outline you know, your pattern piece. Uh, this is a graded pattern, so um, I'm using the smallest one just to show you. And then again, I'm tweaking the armhole here, so that's going to take a long time. Then I, you know, put sleeve, the style number, the size, the cut, and self because it's a self fabric. Anyways, so I circle the number two because I need to cut two of these out. And I have the grain line there. If you want to put a little arrow on the grain line, that's fine. Um, I use this particular arrow and then I just scale it and I right click on it and I use the break line and ungroup it and now I can adjust um, the points on there. Um, you can use this arrow, you can, I like tweaking a little bit, you can use the regular arrow, so whatever you want. Okay, so now you're going to press um, Command P for a Mac or Control P if you have PC. Um, then go to the tile. And see how you can see the uh, border? You don't want that. So click on the full page and then click on imageable areas. Um, that's, that will show you how it's going to print um, with the printer. And then to see it on the artboard, go to view and then go to show print tiling. And then it's going to show you how it's, you know, how it would look if you printed it out right now. Um, I like Ralph Pink's idea of putting the dot where it's joined because uh, it does make it easier when you print it out um, to align that corner right there. So then again, um, you can tweak your artboard to make it fit. Um, since this is a sleeve, I think I can make it fit on just two pages instead of four. Um, there's a lot of, you know, unused white space there and I don't like that. So um, I'm going to go to never use the border list if you have that option because it never works. So just use the uh, US letter size. So I'm going to adjust it and try to make it fit on two pages. So there you go. Um, again, I'm fixing here the corners where the two pages meet. Um, and I'm going to do the same thing on the top. So that's a good idea that he had. I like that. So just save it and save it as an AI file. Uh, my next step is to make a perfect two by two square. So if you double click on anywhere, you can put in the dimensions, put two inches by two inches. When you make the border, you want to make it so it ex the line expands outwards. So then all you have to do is just press again, um, Command P or Control P to print. And it just align, just, you know, cut off the border and, you know, attach it with tape or something. You get the idea. It's, it fits perfectly. It prints out great. Um, the two inches by two inches, you can see it's perfect. So the uh, printer didn't adjust the size or anything. So it's the original size. Uh, I also double checked the pattern so when I scanned it in, it, you know, my printer didn't change the size of it or anything. So, you know, all in all, I mean, it looks good. You may want to, you know, double check your first pattern just to make sure that your printer isn't uh, adjusting the size or anything of your patterns. So, um, there you have it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next time.